Hello there folks and welcome to Chris Hall Motorcycles in Doncaster and welcome to the channel. So what have I got for you today? Uh, I've got a really nice uh, 2012 Triumph Speedmaster 865 and they are a nice looking cruiser these, they're a nice mid-size, I'm going to call them a mid-size cruiser. Um, yeah, lovely example this one as well. So let's just throw some facts and figures at you as always. Um, so like I say, it's a 2012 uh, Speedmaster 865, only done 13,000 miles and some loose change. Uh, we've got eight service stamps in the book and it was last serviced about 1,100 miles ago. So um, well, a well cared for machine, fairly stock. Um, and I've got all the books and all the keys. Um, and it's got a nice private reg plate with it as well. Don't really mean out in the grand scheme of things, um, but we'll have a look at that in a second. So yeah, this is the 2012 Triumph Speedmaster 865. So let's have a quick walk around before we uh, have a start up and go through the paperwork, etc. Starting at the back of the bike, as always, I've got this rather nice chrome rack. Like I say, it's fitted with a nice private plate. That could be Triumph 900, but yeah. But anyway, it comes with a plate. You know, I'm not going to take that off. It's not worth a million quid or anything, so it can stay on the bike. Uh, the bike is finished in this really nice candy red. And if you've seen any of my other videos where I'll, they're in the candy red, I'm a big fan of it. I think it looks very striking, real nice, and particularly against the chrome. I think that looks really, really nice. Let's get down here. Uh, tire. That's not that old, got plenty of life left in that. No, I haven't got a tyre depth gauge yet. Still, uh, still, I keep setting off to get one, then get distracted by uh, motorbikes. Um, but um, anyway, uh, nice exhaust system. Um, chrome on this bike's really nice. The paint works really nice. There's nothing untoward or scary about any of it. The seat's in very, very good condition. I'm not even sure if it's one of those gel seats because it feels feels like it yeah um, I'm not sure it feels like one of those comfort seats but I'm not 100% but it could be um, and like I say the chrome and the paint is really nice well looked after as you can see header pipes are really nice and clean as well pillion pegs yeah just a just a nice clean example that's been a uh, well looked after. Lovely bars on this bike as well, like a, almost like a beach style bar. So real nice comfortable riding position. Got a fender extender there. And again front tyre, lots of life left in that. That doesn't look that old either. The chrome on the headlamp, again nice and clean, nice and shiny. You can see my reflection in there, which is something we don't need to see. And again, as we come around this side of the bike, very nice and clean, well looked after. No, that is a nice clean bike that. Okay, let's just have a quick look at the paperwork side of things. I'll show you what I've got with the bike. Uh, spare key, owner's manual service book, and like I say, it's got eight service stamps in the book. Um, Wherever we are, there we go, in the service book. There we go, tons of stamps in the book. Uh, and like I say, it was last serviced about a thousand mile ago, maybe a sniff over. HPI report, which you get with all the vehicles from ourselves. Uh, and then some invoices and stuff for some of the servicing and old MOTs. So everything is present and correct, like you'd expect on a nice bike like this. Okay, so let's have a start up of it. Now, obviously, with it being a Triumph, I've got to pull the clutch in and press the start button. So I'm going to have to just put you guys down for a second, just there. 
I'm just going to have a quick start up, hopefully the camera does not fall off the chair. There we go. To be fair, you could probably do with a little bit of choke pulling out, and I haven't. But she's alright, she's running. Sweet as a nut. I do, that's one thing I do like about these, is having these split dials. So you've got the dial on the tank, the, you know, the rev counter on the tank, and then the speedo on the, uh, on the bars. I quite like that. Quite like that. So, so anyway, this bike will come with a full MOT. It will go through the workshop for a full check over prior to coming out. And it will also come with a warranty with ourselves. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we can offer finance on this bike with zero deposit. We can offer nationwide or international delivery. Um, and with regards to nationwide delivery, first of all, we do use a proper motorcycle courier. And coming soon, I'm going to do a video with Ben, one of our drivers, um, and just show you how we fasten and transport bikes um, and the systems that we use to make sure that these bikes arrive in the condition that they leave here in. So, uh, yeah, watch this space. We'll. Uh, it's what I've been thinking about, and uh, I'm going to chat with uh, the company that we use a lot and uh, do a bit of a video to show you how we do transport the vehicles for you. Um, so yeah, I can do uh, international delivery as well, we can also organise that, that's all created up in a different system altogether, but if you want international delivery, not a problem at all. Um, we do take part exchanges as well, so if you've got a bike to part X, give us a call. Um, if you want to know how much this particular vehicle is, there is a price below in the description along with a link to our website where you'll find a, a bit more information about this bike and a load of photos. So you can have a bit of a, a zoom in it in critical areas and stuff. I normally put at least 15 photos in the advert on the uh, website as well. Okay. Um, don't forget folks, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button tick that bell for notifications. Uh, I really do appreciate the support. If you've got any questions on this bike, don't hesitate, give me a call 01302 760 967, or you can email me, chrishallmotorcycles at googlemail.com. Alternatively, as always, you OG subscribers, I know what I'm about to say. If you wanted to come down and look at the bike in person, and if you live more than 10 miles away, give me a call before you set off just to make sure the bike is in stock and available. And I'm still getting people trundling across country, arriving and the bike has been sold the day before, the morning before, that type of thing. So yeah, just always give us a heads up that you come in over to look at something. I can get the kettle ready for you. I can get the bike out and make sure there's some fuel in it, etc., etc. But other than that, I'm gonna sign off. That's the 2012 Triumph Speedmaster 865. Lovely looking bit of kit. Don't think that's gonna stick around very long. Um, and other than that, thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Stay safe out there, folks. And remember, if you are passing Doncaster, pop in for a brew. Say hello. Other than that, cheers.